My name is Kate Reed. I am the founder and the co-owner of Loon Croissanterie in Melbourne, Australia. Well, I've loved Formula One and motor racing ever since I was a little girl. It was the way that I bonded with my dad. It was a real treat for me when I was little to, you know, stay up and have a cup of tea and watch this incredible show of precision engineering. So I focused from a young age on designing Formula One cars as a career and I went and studied aerospace engineering and a year out of university I found myself with the great privilege of being offered a role at the Williams F1 team as an aerodynamicist. When you have dreamt about something your entire life and worked towards it and when I got to F1 uh, the reality was very different from the planned expectation. So finding myself unhappy in the office every day I started to bake when I went home every night and there's this magic and science with baking where when you have all the raw ingredients laid out on the bench none of them are edible but when you bring them together and you finally pull out that finished product from the oven at the end there's this thing that is so much more than the sum of its parts it's this beautiful delicious you know chocolate cake or cookies or a tart or anything and I realized that life is too short to spend time doing something that doesn't make you happy. And it was a very big decision to step away from Formula One after working so hard to get there, but um, I landed on baking and never looked back. I spent a period of time in Paris working at one of Paris's most well-known boulangeries. And I was enjoying baking, but I guess I missed that challenge of the technicality that the aerodynamic career had given me. But suddenly I was making this pastry that took three days to make and it was highly technical and there were dozens of processes from the start to the finish. And I think my engineering brain kicked in and I realised that there was this pastry that I could break down and critically analyse every part of the process and improve it. And so it was that precision and performance engineering side of my brain that the, the croissant really, really satisfied. It was a pretty surreal moment the day that I woke up and Loon had been written about in the New York Times. We'd just moved to the store in Fitzroy and we already had some pretty wild queues, but this particular day, the queue was around three sides of the block. Suddenly it went from, you know, people who lived in Melbourne lining up at Loon to people reading about us in the Qantas magazine flying into Australia and, and suddenly it being this thing on people's bucket list that when they come to Melbourne, they had to come to Loon. I think from an equality standpoint, there's still probably work to be done in the hospitality industry worldwide. At Loon, we're very female focused and we enjoy celebrating uh, female strength and leadership. I think probably 70% of our leadership team is female. And I mean, I obviously own the business with my brother, but he's also a big proponent for celebrating um, female strength and leadership. So. It's one of the things that, again, we're trying to set the standard on. Last year, I was approached by the Australian Grand Prix Corporation to be an ambassador for the Grand Prix, and they approached me for two reasons. One, that I had created something that was intrinsically Melbourne, but also obviously due to my background in Formula One. And the fact that I've been able to create a hospitality business and have a previous career in a very male-dominated field there was a lot of celebration around the fact that I was a female and had achieved success in both those areas. If you love what you want to do, you just have to work hard and focus on it. Rather than proving that you're a woman and you can do it, just prove to yourself that you can do it. So when I was working in Formula One, I did notice that I saw problems and problem solving differently to my peers. And I think it takes all angles and aspects of problem solving to come to the best solution. So as a female and as a woman, you can really bring something important and critical to a field. We're very focused on these days, women you know, must have a career, must go to university, but I think we also forget that for some women, having children and raising a family is a goal, and that is just as valid as going to university and studying aerospace engineering or becoming a baker. I think it's probably quite obvious that my dad inspired me a lot before my rise to success. I've always looked up to him, but like mum inspires me now too. And I think earlier in my life, I spent a lot of time with dad, but now being a woman, I look back on all of the unseen work that she did to make our lives rich and full and loving. My dad said to me when I was leaving Australia to go and work in Formula One, nothing has to be forever. There's no point sticking with something if you're deeply unhappy, if you have the opportunity to change your direction and pursue something that you 
do think might make you happy. It's worth a shot. I've got my Targ Heuer on, the Aqua Racer. I've had a love of Targ Heuer since just after I started loving Formula One. I think Swiss watches and Formula One are synonymous. They've gone hand in hand since the dawn of time. Precision engineering, just like the Formula One car that, that they were plastered all over. In 2019, we had two Loon stores. We just opened the second one in the Melbourne CBD. And I decided that finally I could afford it and I really wanted to celebrate the personal and professional success that I'd found through both Formula One and Loon by buying myself a Targ Heuer finally. When I'm wearing my tag, it makes me feel success, confidence and joy. Walking into a Watches of Switzerland store is a very unique and special experience. It's so attentive and singularly focused. You already feel like you're treating yourself just by stepping in the door at the, at the prospect of even purchasing a new timepiece. I think purchasing a watch for yourself as a woman is a real, it's a real power move. Like, it made me feel really self-confident. It made me feel like I don't have to wait for somebody to go out there and buy it for me. If any woman out there is in a position to do it and really wants to celebrate their life and their success by having something beautiful on their wrist, like a Swiss timepiece, then I can't more highly recommend the experience.